now let us see what is meant by biological evidences how they are pay paying their path in the organic evolution biological evidences the present day complex form have originated or evolved from the simple forms of the past so whatever today we are that is only from the traits that we have taken from our ancestors so process of evolution is supported by evidences that provided by various branches of biology so whatever the process of evolution that is going on that is only by various branches of biology such as paleontological evidences evidences from the comparative anatomy that is the physiological studies embryological evidences and the molecular evidences so so the molecular evidences are playing a very vital role and how the evidences the different types of evidences are giving connection to the process of organic evolution now if you see even though evolution is called a theory but it does not mean that evolutionary theory is a mere guesswork so its ideas are supported by a vast amount of evidences so evidences are giving lots and lots of ideas and supports for this which are coming from many different scientific disciplines such as direct observation and fossil evidence direct observation is it possible for a man to observe any of the evolutionary processes no because life's man life is very very short it is too short to know or to observe the different uh, evolutionary processes so direct observation and also the fossil evidence fossil evidence is nothing but the paleontological study and the comparative anatomy comparative embryology biogeography which we have discussed just now atavism atavism is also another phenomenon and that is and the next one is the molecular biology so molecular biology cell studies cell genetics all these things which are forming the basis of the chemical evolution are also the evidences of evolution so if you look at the summary of the summary of the evidences of evolution see the scientists agree that the theory of evolution. so if you look at the summary of the complete uh, evidences the summary of the evidences it is clear here that scientists agree that the theory of evolution is uh, as well supported by the evidences only as any other theories so transitional fossils provide compelling evidences so whatever the transitional fossils are there they are providing the complete evidences and the paleontological study is giving a very right pathway for the process of organic evolution but fossils aren't the only evidence so you cannot take the fossils only that is fossils are only the evidence we cannot say so but much evidence come from so from where apart from fossils from where we are getting the evidences much evidence comes from comparative anatomy biogeography molecular biology genetics embryology and biotechnology so combined all these things that means how the comparative anatomy of different animals are there in in relation with the metabolic activities like digestion respiration circulation nervous coordination endocrine glands reproductive system excretory system so they will take the comparative anatomy of all the animals that are existing today on the earth. and basing on that they will come into conclusion that what kind of function they are doing what is their origin and how they are showing similarities to the present modern man and also the biogeography is also showing the relations for the evidences of the evolution the molecular biology here it is clearly emphasizing on the different molecular things like chromosomes dna rna and the genetics how the genetical study is being carried for the evidences of the evolution as we have seen in the embryological evidences the different kind of embryos right from the scientists have worked on this they have studied the different kinds of embryos that of the way 
tail, that of the small lower organisms and also the horse, bat, cat, dog and all till today man. So everybody are showing the similarities. Man is also showing the similarity of that he has evolved from the unicellular organism as when you take the process of, uh, uh, process of development that is immediately after the fertilization the product is called as the zygote. So, zygote is a single cell which on for differentiation or cell differentiation the zygote will form into the, first it will form into the, sorry it will form into the morula. Morula is a ball of cells. This morula will change into the blastula. Okay, blastula again changes into the gastrula and here gastrula will develop into different types of embryos. So the different things all these developmental stages are showing the unique characteristics that they have evolved from the lower organisms. So here how they are showing the in the same way this embryo will be showing its comparison or its evidence from the unicellular organisms and how it has been evolved to the latest to the modern man so this is nothing but the the this is nothing but the embryological evidence of evolution and not only that the biochemical reactions which are also giving lot of evidence for the the evidence for the process of evolution that is how the biochemical reactions are showing with the nucleosides, nucleotides and all and how it is being showing the, uh, the different evidences for the process of evolution.